Rechargeable battery cells are manufactured in cylindrical or prismatic cells, as this animation illustrates. First, copper is rolled into a foil that serves as the current collector on the anode side. Aluminum is used on the cathode side. Next, the electrode is deposited onto the current collector foil. The anode is typically made of graphite and the cathode of lithium-containing oxides or phosphates. The electrode coating goes through a drying step in which unnecessary solvents are removed and the slurry base coating is solidified. After drying, the two electrodes come together in a sandwich structure with two separators, shown in green, positioned in between. This flexible layer structure then goes through a winding process and forms what is called a jelly roll. For prismatic cells, these structures are cut and layered, flatly rolled, or Z-folded. Next, the jelly roll is packaged into a cylindrical container that resembles an oversized AA battery. Here you can see the internal structure consisting of the two current collectors with the electrode and the two separators for avoiding a short circuit. Before sealing and crimping the container, the battery is filled with liquid electrolyte. It is critical that the electrolyte wets the separator and fills all pores leaving no or minimal voids in the separator foam. 8 to 12 cells are packaged in a module. Then 8 to 12 modules are packaged with a battery management and cooling system. Such a battery pack can then be used in plug-in hybrid and all-electric vehicles. The same or very similar battery packs can be used for stationary storage to enable intermittent renewable energy sources such as wind and solar.